I happen to be taking it. I happen to be taking it. I'm taking it. Hydroxychloroquine. Right now, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I started taking it. Because I think it's good. I've heard a lot of good stories. And if it's not good, I'll tell you right. I'm not going to get hurt by it. Are you White House doctor that? recommending you take that? Is that why you're Yeah, White House doctor. I didn't recommend. No, I asked him, what do you think? He said, well, if you'd like it. I said, yeah, I'd like it. I'd like to take it. A lot of people are taking it. A lot of frontline workers are taking hydroxychloroquine. All I can tell you is, so far, I seem to be okay. Can you explain further why you started taking it? Have you been exposed? Yeah, because, no, no, not at all. I just said that I've had so many letters from people. If you ask Molly, she'll give you a copy of it. But this is a doctor. He doesn't want anything. I don't know him. Never heard of him. But he treats people that are that we're talking about. And he said out of hundreds of people that he's treated, he hasn't lost one. And he just wanted me to know about it. That's all. But I've received many such letters. I've received a lot of positive letters. And it seems to have an impact. And maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But if it doesn't, you're not going to get sick or die. Yeah, I've taken it for about a week and a half now. And uh, I'm still here. I'm still here. Can you explain, sir, though, you, what is the evidence that it has a preventative effect? Here we go. You ready? Here's my evidence. I get a lot of positive calls about it. The only negative I've heard was the study where they gave it, was it the VA, with, you know, people that aren't big Trump fans. I get a lot of tremendously positive news on the hydroxy, and I say, hey, you know the expression I've used, John? What do you have to lose? Okay, what do you have to lose?